a string of murders, young women the target. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Barry Lowen. Five Vernon Parish women disappeared in the 1980s. Investigators are still looking for the missing clue that might just bring their case to a close. Tonight, Jade Morrow investigates the 1989 murder of Pamela Miller. She was just 23 years old. Young lady from, from here in the Leesville area uh, disappeared. She went to a local bar accompanied by a man before she was last seen using a payphone driving away from a gas station. Her car was located uh, up Highway 117 north of Leesville. But Pamela Miller was still nowhere to be found. Her disappearance remained a mystery uh, from, from that day of uh, May 30th until November of, of 89. A hunter discovered human remains in a remote area of Pison Ridge in Sabine Parish, later identified as those of Pamela's. So at that time, the sheriff's office uh, and also the FBI got involved because of being her body being found on federal grounds. Uh, you know, went through various investigative strategies and you know followed up on leads. Sheriff Sam Kraft says Miller's case is one of three. The Burnham Parish Sheriff's Office cold case team reopened to try and find the missing link of information. All three, close in age, found in the woods near Fort Polk. Over the years, investigators have even resubmitted DNA and re-interviewed potential witnesses. But the man who Miller was last seen with remains uncooperative. 34 years later, the question remains, who killed Pamela Miller? If you have something or think you have something, please call us. Jade Morrow, 7 News. You may recall last week the convicted killer in the 1988 murder of Karen Hill, Samuel Galbraith, was denied parole. He has been labeled a person of interest in this case as well as the murder of Tammy Call in 1990. Both were in Vernon Parish. Drug